In this video, we are going to show how to archive and unarchive a Padlet so that you can make the most out of your free account. So here in our Padlet account, we have our made section where we have the Padlets that we've created. We also have our archived section where we have the Padlets that we have already archived. In the lower left corner, you can click on the three dots and it will bring up your Padlet usage and it will show that we have four out of the three Padlets that we have access to in the free basic account. So we will need to archive at least one of these Padlets to be able to use them um, with students. So click on the three dots next to the title and choose archive. And you'll see now we have three out of three so we can actively use these Padlets with students and add responses to them. So we can click on the three dots again and choose archive, move any Padlets into the archive section so that we can use our full usage in a free account. You can unarchive a Padlet at any time and move it back to your active made list to be able to use with students. So you can create as many Padlets as you would like and store them in the archive section and bring them active by clicking the three dots and unarchive them as needed. So you can take advantage of the three active Padlets and share those with your students as needed and then archive when you have completed that assignment and then unarchive whenever you need to use that Padlet again. So use the three dots next to the uh, title to archive and unarchive. You can also access shared Padlets as well in addition to your made and archived sections. So three dots next to the title and archive and unarchive your Padlets to take full advantage of your Padlet account.